lucky Manchester United fans getting to go to the glorious city of Seville, Sevilla down in southern Spain. Is it just going to be get on the beers, enjoy yourself, 4-1 lead from the first leg? Is Ali Moreno ready to call United already through? Or how much work is still to be done against Betis? Uh, first and foremost, Mark, uh, drink responsibly. That is <laughs> the message. Uh, but yeah, get ready to celebrate. Uh, I suppose that 100% would be too high, but I don't care. This is 100% done. Manchester United are advancing past Real Betis. What does he do with his team selection? Because he's still going to be careful. If they were to get an early goal and you've named a kind of mixture of backup players and one or two first team players, then you might get a little bit nervy. So a strong ish lineup like we were talking about for Arsenal. Or well, is you know who's chance... gonna play? That is Casemiro, because he's gonna have some time off in yes. Premier League uh, given his uh latest indiscretion. So he's gonna be in the middle of midfield, so that gives you some balance. And pl perhaps a player that wasn't going to be there to begin with, because you think that if you were going to ro rotate some players, maybe Casemiro is one of the guys that would would have been absent. But now you have a natural player who's going to give you balance, and you don't even have to think about this choice and this selection. I don't think uh, that Real Betis is good enough to overcome a three goal deficit, even if this is against a lesser version of Manchester United. Uh, I, I, there are too many frailties on Real Betis offensively. While they seem to have talented players, they haven't been producing at the rate that they produced last season. And the absence of Navel Fakir, who's out for the rest of the season, makes it very difficult for them to be explosive in the attack. So you combine that with the success of Manchester United, the three-goal difference, and I go back to what I said earlier. 100% done. Manchester United are advancing. And Arsenal are favourites as well against Sporting. It's looking good for an English double-up in the Europa League this week. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.